coming out to Durban Open Mic uh, for this installment. Today is uh, Juneteenth or June nineteenth, which marks um, which marks the. Okay, uh, I'm good now. <laughs> Sorry, brain fart. Um, so basically, Juneteenth um, is two years after the Emancipation Proclamation, in which a lot of slaves in the United States uh, didn't know they were free. And so the government had to do extra um, extra things or state governments to get these people free. Um, and you know, today is a great day to celebrate. Um, when I think about the plight of African Americans in this country and the overlap of solidarity of people of color and how gross um, the social fact of racism exists in this place, um, I think about joy and I think about me as an artist or just artists in general and how it's our job um, not only to, to be aware of our surroundings and conscious, but also to celebrate and be filled with joy and let joy move us because what do we have if we don't have joy? Um, also, if um, you guys are interested in learning more about the the plight of African Americans, please read The Meaning of Freedom by Angela Davis and about the prison system and how it still um, incarcerate, over incarcerates black and brown bodies. And um, to open the space today, I want to read this poem by the poet Lucille Clifton and it's called Won't You Celebrate With Me. She's also a very prolific African-American poet and one of my absolute favorites. She talks about uh, resistance of black folk through um, joy, obviously, and through family and just everyday things, and it's very beautiful. Won't You Celebrate With Me by Lucille Clifton. Won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into a kind of life? I had no model born in Babylon, both non-white and woman. What did I see to be, to be except myself? I made it up here on this bridge between starshine and clay, my one hand holding tight my other hand. Come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. And uh, thank you for that. And now uh, I'll be introducing with Sam Shafadeen. He's one of the great organizers of Dearborn Open Mic. Um, he writes poems and he's going to give a really interesting talk about um, Arab revolutions. So um, please warmly, you know, applaud whatever you do at these things. 